Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here, and last week's finale episode for the Dumping Ground certainly was explosive, with Ashdeen Ridge setting a light on fire, and for the first time ever, the show ending on a series cliffhanger, with no clear ending as to what is going to happen next. What a way to end the 10th series of this show. And after 9 series, we are finally saying goodbye to Ashdeen Ridge. Like, I felt very emotional when you just saw the sign being burned down, just thinking of all the memories that we've had there over the past nine years. But what does this mean for series 11 and the future of the dumping ground going forward? Where are we going to live now? Well today, let's discuss all of the options this could go in, but before we go any further, please make sure that you've clicked that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified every time we make any brand new dumping ground videos. <laughs> Now personally, I would have thought the Dumping Ground has reached its end by now. It would be very harsh if they had just ended the show with this finale episode and we just had to deal with the show ending in literal flames. So no, instead we do have a series 11 confirmed and they've started filming it right now. So we are definitely getting answers as to what happened. The most obvious solution is they all go and live in a new care home, and we get a whole new series in a new place that we've never seen before. And this would kind of symbolise the start of like a new era in the show. I've spoken about this before, and if you want to see a video on the topic, there'll be a link down below in the description, or you can go and click the card somewhere up there. But the dumping ground is kind of in different eras of different characters. And series 10, with the exits of Jody, Floss, Candy Rosebird, and Jay, kind of symbolise that the era from series 8 to 10 was coming to an end, with this era focusing on Meili as head care worker. With series 11, it will be the first series to have none of the original cast as main characters, and a new care home really symbolises this. Every time a new care home has came around, the entire vibe of the show has changed. Take series 4 of the story of Tracy Beaker, where we get a very different vibe of Tracy Beaker with the introduction of the Wellards, and Tracy not actually living in the care home but instead with Cam. A similar idea also happened in series 5 where for the first few episodes we didn't even have Tracy actually in the episodes and it was kind of showing this whole new era of basically focusing just on the dumping ground kids rather than Tracy Beaker herself. In Tracy Beaker Returns we got Elm Tree House 2 which was a new care home for a new show. Then even though we got Ashton Ridge in series 2 of the dumping ground the first series of the dumping ground did basically just feel like Tracy Beaker Returns but without Tracy, whereas from series 2 it very much felt like a whole different show. So with a new care home and with basically a new cast from series 11, it will basically be like a whole new reset and a new show altogether from what we've seen before. Personally, I think they should just end it or create a new show altogether with a new cast because the connections to anything like Tracy Beaker are basically all gone by now. So that's the most likely and obvious option, but I feel like if they did want to do something a bit more interesting, there are other ways they could go. We never did find out in the canon show as to why they left Elm Tree House at the end of series 1. So as a temporary care home, they could return, which I think would be very interesting as we could get a lot of links back to the earlier shows and would make series 11 seem more relevant than a whole new different show completely. I'd actually love this, but it's whether in reality the logistics would work. Ashton Ridge is a set, it's not an actual house, meaning it's probably easier to film in. Elm Tree House was an actual house, meaning it's less easy to tamper with. Plus, I'm pretty sure Elm Tree House is like a separate location from the location where they filmed the dumping ground now, and I'm not 100% sure of the reason as to why they stopped filming in Elm Tree House, but I'm pretty sure it was just because they lost the rights from the owners to film there. But if they could get it back, it would be absolutely amazing and very nostalgic, and just a bit strange seeing all of these new characters come to a place where we've seen so many old characters go through. Another way is that they rebuild Ashton Ridge in a new way, and instead we we see the kids go through temporary care homes. Maybe they're all together and throughout the series they're hopping between care home to care home. Or something maybe a bit more interesting could be seeing all of the kids separated for the first half of the series and then come back together for the second half with very different experiences. Kind of like a more explored version of the idea in series 2 of Tracy Beaker Returns when the council shuts down Elm Tree House and all of the kids are separated with some going to nice foster homes but other going to places like Burning 
Hollywood where they have an absolutely terrible time. We only saw one episode of this and it was amazing. Imagine just seeing a full series of it. It could be absolutely incredible. The only issue is I don't think these characters and the vibe of the show is anywhere near as close as it was in series two of Trace Speaker Returns. So it might not be as effective doing this storyline, considering the vibe of that series was much, much, much darker. And the final option to link all of these could be we see returning characters coming back to help. Maybe even Cam and Tracy with Jess, which I would just absolutely love. Either way, it's definitely really sad to see Ashley and Ridge go, but it was definitely time for something new, and I'm very excited to see what on earth that might be. But with this signifying a whole new era and reset to the show, it makes me quite sad to think about The Dumping Ground has basically ended now, and we're watching a whole new show. Also, side note, I think the saddest part of the episode was by far seeing those iconic sofas that we've seen for years and so many dramatic things happening around them going up in flames. The fact that we're never going to see those again makes me very sad. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys, let me know down below in the comments what do you think about all these ideas and do you have any other ideas as to where the show could go with getting a new care home? Do you reckon we'll get a brand new home? Do you reckon they'll rebuild Ashton Bridge? Do you reckon it'll be something completely different? Let me know all your thoughts down there. And as always, we've been here on Gate of Theories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.